Episode 64. Let's go. It is, baby. And 64, Let's do it, dude. dude. We've had a fucking good week. Great We're week. We're on top right now, dude. <laughs> We're on top. We're the best. Oh, my God, dude. The shirts are out. Shirts, shirts are shirts out. Shirts are fucking lit. JP smashed a femme, dude. That was awesome. Jordan Peterson destroyed a femme, dude. Dude, it's so funny. That was a good one. That was a good crusher. That was hilarious. You crushed her, dude. Well, that girl was... That girl was bad. Well, she's a victim now. She was. She very... instantly went from like, I'm a fearless woman. You know what I did to get here? And then like, she lost that debate and she's like, his trolls are threatening me. Dude, <laughs> it's so funny how they do that. Oh, man. Well, that's a funny thing too about how like her whole thing was how fierce women should be in the workplace. And like, that dude gets people fucking with him every day. And she yeah. got butt fucked in a debate being an asshole to him. She was, man. She's a fucking dick. Yeah, listener, go watch that debate. Jordan it's... Peterson versus. I forget her name. Katie something. She's Channel 4. YouTube, uh, Jordan Peterson versus British cunt. Yeah, seriously, dude. It'll it'll pop up. up. But yeah, that was so fucking funny, dude. Yeah, but now her whole thing today was that there's been threats and they had to hire a security force. And then there's like her Twitter's her on a couch being like, we're just fine. It was all in the game. She was saying like, it was all in the love of the game. We were just, you know, everything was great. And it's like, dude, you got... She was a fucking asshole. You got butt fucked. She, he would say a very logical statement yeah. that wasn't offensive to women. No. He was just doing his, like what his profession is. He was yeah. speaking on it. And she'd be like, oh, so you think women are stupid? Well, she was... So yeah. all women are stupid. She, would, like, she would stop no, and go... Yeah, that's she, not what I'm saying at all. <laughs> what? what? No, she no. would go... Oh, no. So, so what you're saying is that women should just pack it up and forget about it. And he was like... No, I didn't know. No, no. If you listen to what I'm saying, that's not what I'm saying at all. You're, Dude, you're being preposterous. That was so fucking funny. Like, so women are stupid. Are we stupid? It's not yeah, it. Yeah, no. stupid. <laughs> Do you think we're stupid? And then it, out of nowhere, she's like, so if there's a little, every feminist says, like, oh. if there's a little girl watching right now, blah, 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 blah. And it's like, he's like, uh, yeah. She's like, you're saying don't reach for the top. He's like, no, she should totally reach for the top. Yeah. What are you saying? Dude, yeah. that was so funny. Like, she should work hard. She should work damn hard. <laughs> yeah. It's a cruel world out there. <laughs> it's very hard for everyone. <laughs> that was. It is funny how now they're just like, all right, we lost and uh, we're victims. Yeah. Instantly back to it's victim the, mode. Spacey, I'm gay, dude. It, what is that? Kevin Spacey being like, oh, oh yeah, I'm gay. dude, clearly. It's, it's the fucking, oh, I'm, I'm the victim. Dude, that's like funny. You were an asshole. You acted like a fucking asshole. You're not the victim. Yeah. You were... She... Everything he said, she just tried to put words in his mouth that were not even close to what he was saying. Well, dude, if that was two guys debating and the one guy lost and everyone was like, aha, you fucking lost, or if he had lost and everyone was like, you fucking suck, you fucking yeah. Nazi, it would have been like, good, tell him. That was funny. Yeah, that, that's funny how that worked. Dude, the Aziz thing, that was a tough week for them. The Aziz, man. Aziz backfired hard. They thought they're going to take down the fucking Indian yeah, king of comedy. Their, it was their own hierarchy that backfired on them. They attacked a brown man, so yeah. other white other white femmes were able to pick that up Now's and fucking chance. be like, "I'm even stronger than you, Ugh. dude." That is funny to be like. He just asked for head. Yeah. Also, I do want to make it clear he wasn't. He was rightfully defended, a hundred percent. Hell yeah, dude! It was just a mean date. It wasn't even mean. It was a little, it was a little, he ignored this girl. It was slightly aggressive to her. What did he do? He asked for a blowjob. He just job. treated her like she was a star fucker, which she, she was. was. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> she but went, he wasn't like fucking chivalrous is what I'm saying. He doesn't have to be. I agree. And if it's... It was just I know, a mean I know. date. It was a mean it, Yeah. Date. I mean, it was like... My thing is if to go... It's like if my sister was dating fucking like Jack Shepard. I don't know why Jack Shepard popped in my head. Dax Shepard? Dax, whatever his name is. Dax Shepard. Dax Shepard. <laughs> and like she was like, yeah, I went to his house. We drank wine and then went out to dinner. Asked me for a blowjob. I'd be like, you just did all the pre-blowjob rituals, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You drank wine in his house. You went to a five-star restaurant and then you went back to his house. Yeah. Actually, it was he was asking to fuck the entire time. And was he? Yeah. And she just kept giving him head. She just and like then she'd be kept like, throughout the night. Yeah, she gave him like she five gave him blowjobs, three different blowjobs. What? Yeah. And then he kept giving her the claw. What he when he would stick his hand in her mouth and then finger her. <laughs> the Aziz claw, dude. Did he eat her pussy? Uh, I think so. Yes. That's bullshit. The fact that he, they he had oral sex on, on he the counter. He should have proposed. 
True. If I eat a girl's pussy, do I instantly wipe my mouth and kneel? And I'm like, well, you made me Well, he's me Indian, dead. so that was an arranged rape. <laughs> <laughs> her uncle set it up. Yeah, dude. Well, that was funny how she bragged. Or her Pakistani. Uncle. I think he's Muslim, so he's probably Pakistani. Yeah. yeah who knows? He's a fucking asshole, dude. True, he's dude. A fucking so ass. I can't believe, this. dude, he did got go head. Did and you go didn't... to a women's march? Yeah, dude, I was there. I was there. I was there fucking marching my ass off, Ooh. dude. That was fun. Where, where was that? Uh, I think a lot of them were by the uh, art museum, at least. I was at the one in Paris. I was at like the satellite march. Oh, I flew to, to Paris. Paris. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was a good march there. I heard <laughs> a lot of things got accomplished. I heard. What they do? They just fucking. They're more women are more political than men right now, dude. They're actually Definitely. supporting our de- democracy right now. Did you see Trump's tweet? No. About the women's march. What did he say? <sighs> oh, dude, did he? It was it was one of the greatest. Tweets oh my ever. god! Look, and I said this on stage on uh, the night of the feminist march, which was a mistake. What it was? There were a mad? ton of women yeah. from the march at the show. Oh, there was one in Philly too. Yeah, yeah. At the okay, so they did another march. They did marches everywhere. So they all, everyone's Facebook profile picture was different. Yes, I'm, and I'm sure it was all these women. The the audience was like seventy thirty women. Ugh. And I was like, well, you guys at the march today? Yeah, they're like just talking <laughs> shit. And they, I really, I walked two tables. Really? As a fucking middle. Well, you know how powerful they were, dude? They were so powerful. The one girl was like, you're being mean. It's like, yeah. She heckled my set by screaming I was being mean. What did, and I was wh- like, uh, yeah, I am. Yeah, definitely. So that's what I'm doing up here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? What, you think I'm fucking Pete Holmes? I'm going to come up here and be a nice, yeah. schlubby fucking bitch? Like, I just want to let you guys know that I'm with you it's to the so end. It's so powerful what you guys did today by getting drunk together. Yeah. You got day drunk outside. Is that what they did? They just yeah, drank some mimosas? You just go get fucking day drunk and you're like, me powerful. <laughs> you guys don't even know how powerful we are. That's so fucking sad. But dude. then Trump tweeted. And I, I said, and I tried to explain this mm. on stage and it totally flopped. It's tough, but I was to, like, it's tough to explain. I was like, I know you guys hate him, but you got to give him credit. This was one of the... One of the greatest counter punches of all time. What did he say? To the Women's March, he said, uh, <laughs> Beautiful weather all over our great country. A perfect day for all women to march. Get out there now to celebrate the historic milestones and unprecedented economic success and wealth creation that has taken over the last 12 months. Oh Lowest female unemployment in 18 years. <laughs> <laughs> no. Such a fucking So you explained that to them. They were yeah. like, eh. Like, it's so funny that Trump was like, Oh, they're gonna march. Good. Oh my god! Let's Dude, make it so they're celebrating me. There's no, I mean, this is just a pure personal observation that holds no weight at all. But there are, there's no grimmer mug than a woman walking to work on a cold morning at eight in the morning. I see them because I go to the gym and come home at like seven thirty, and I see girls with miserable. like fur hoods over their they're head. Not working. They're not having children. <laughs> yeah, they're know. working too often. It they're is miserable. funny how they're like, "We're kick ass. We just want a career." And it's like I watch them all walk walk to their jobs, dude. <laughs> And it's just like a just like sourpuss Frogger across Spring Garden Street. They're just like me, me, me. <laughs> they're fucking so mad in the morning. Yeah, they're yeah, all in the morning. I can just see their eyes just like turned upside down, and they're all thinking about Christian Grey, dude. They just want to get spanked in a fuck on the fiftieth floor, dude. <laughs> it's, I'm telling you, I watch them walk, and it's just like purely fucking furious <laughs> yeah the, the fact that i walked two different tables as a fucking middle was like, it was, <laughs> oh yeah. that was this weekend at, yeah. at, oh yeah. my god as a middle two different tables got up and walked that's so funny that was that's terrible that's balling dude that's, no, that's sick. not good you gotta then, do it dude and then uh the manager from helium came back and was like yeah you walked two tables and i was like fuck yeah <laughs> and, she, and the manager was like why are you happy about that I was like, I don't know. That's fucking sick, dude. What am I supposed to say? Yeah, what am I supposed to say? Oh, my God, I'm so sorry. Yeah. It's like, nah, dude, that's sick. And she was like, you're the only comic I've ever met that's happy they walk to people. <laughs> in my head, I was like, well, Patrice O'Neill would have been happy. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> so would have... Uh... In my head, I'm like, I'm pretty much Patrice O'Neill. <laughs> so would have Lenny Bruce, dude. Lenny Bruce loves that. Yeah, I'm a fucking... I'm just edgy as fuck, dude. Exactly. You're but the edge. You're a the couple edge of them were Asian, so I went out, and I was like, oh, very sorry to you. Did you? <laughs> no, I didn't Oh, apologize. my God. I was... Uh, it was funny too because one of the tables was <laughs> one of the tables was in the front row, yeah. and it was a young girl and her mom, I think. And the girl was pretty fucking hot, and mm-hmm. she was laughing. She was like trying to hold laughs because her mom was furious. And her old feminist mom, and her mom, yeah, her mom in the fucking vest next to her was pissed. Really? Yeah. 
Damn, dude, she had a, she had the we can do it bandana on. She, she fucking pissed. flexed she and left. A, she had a beret. She was like, "This is not acceptable." <laughs> she was Bay Guevara, dude. She was <laughs> yeah, dude, Bay Guevara. <laughs> Holy yeah, shit, were, that's so out. funny. You walked though. And then what's really funny is the next the next day was the NFC Championship and the protest. <sighs> like the women's march was now replaced by just pure fucking. Animals, dude. <laughs> Just dudes that are out there like, Vikings are a bunch of pussy faggot cunts. <laughs> it is funny how it's everyone's different term to, like, turn to go do that yeah. and how it's just like, somebody, all right, you're done. Somebody Next. drove a dune bucky up the uh, rocky steps. It was, it was fucking, oh my God, it was the wild west out here. I dude. was trying to sleep that night and it was just horns going off. Yeah. People were just laying on their horns. <laughs> I actually found out, you know, uh, women were apparently tricked into smoking. I think what's going to happen, there's going to be a lot of new like product trends coming out of this. Women got tricked into smoking the same way. Because it went like, did I tell you about this? No, what's that? How in like, I think it might have been like the, when did women's suffrage kick in? 30s maybe? Yeah, sure. Sometime around then. But yeah. like, so they were doing like a women's march for, you know, trying to vote and stuff. And Bullshit. Be- <laughs> before the march, someone came up to, there was like not Philip Morris, but whoever was the big tobacco giant back then. <laughs> Hold on, I'm sorry. Dude. Go ahead. It's so funny that they wouldn't let him vote, dude. It's so funny <laughs> that they had the fucking balls back then to be like, what, my fucking wife is going to make a decision? It's like, look, she can decide on the curtains and what we're eating, but this is war. Like, yeah, oh, she's not going to vote. It was also like poor dudes couldn't vote. It was yeah, like everyone. them, dude. Have you yeah. seen poor dudes? Mm-hmm. You don't want them making choices. No, that's all. Yeah, you can't do that. But I, yeah, I should have no vote. With my income, I, I don't actually. I don't vote. feel. I don't feel. Uh, I don't feel that I'm actually like worthy to vote, so I withhold mine. Exactly. I, until I own enough land, I'm not going to. I got to get land <laughs> and several. Slaves, and then I'm going to vote. But yeah, they told this. So the guy, basically, the Philip Morris of the '30s, went to this advertising guy Bernays, who was Sigmund Freud's nephew, and was like, "Dude, how can we get women to smoke cigarettes? Because only guys are doing it. it was It would have been like if women were dipping back then. Yeah. It was just like, what the fuck are they doing? Yeah. And there was a woman's march. So the guy Bernays got reporters. Had he had a bunch of like Hollywood starlets at the time? He's like, look, you're gonna go there, you're gonna light up a cigarette, and reporters are gonna ask you what you're doing, and you're gonna say you're lighting torches of freedom. Yeah, they you did it, this, dude. They yeah. did it. Now women fucking smoke. Yeah, what and do you it all think called trying on to sell right now, other than Justin Timberlake and yeah, I was about to say fucking Taylor pop Swift, stars, Taylor, Taylor Swift. Swift, yeah. It's like the pop star pantheon. It's like Beyonce tickets. This whole thing is yeah. to sell Beyonce tickets. Ga. What's his Little name? Monsters. Uh, gave me, Mishuli gave me a book on, you might have read it, on 4chan and... Oh, I didn't read it. Like the alt-right and Tumblr and the left and how the internet influenced it. And it starts out talking about how like the left, they used the formula to get Obama elected the first time mm-hmm. with like Beyonce sang, Oprah cried. Yeah. Like it was, everybody was happy. And then they tried the same formula again with Hillary where they like even got Beyonce again I know. to be like and Jay Z, she's my queen, dude. <laughs> like, they've been they've been doing that forever. That guy, that whole guy with the like the women smoking thing, he theorized based off Freud that humans are totally non rational and emotional creatures. So if you just like put celebrities saying things, that most people are going to be like, yeah. Yes. Beyonce's right. We need to vote for this person. Makes perfect sense. That's what fucking uh, Bill Clinton did. They hire focus groups and they're like, what are you guys worried about? And they're like, they hit all their worries and they just go out and say those things. So there's no like, that's how they figure all that stuff out. So now they use the internet for it too so they can mass poll people and yeah. just hear what people want and just go out and be like, here's what I'm going to do and everyone's like, fuck yeah, that's awesome. It's, it's what's really Crazy. funny. The book breaks down like when it all started, like when the internet became just, like mainly, mainly like, well, Coney in 2012 that was the first viral video that really was like the the high water, like the first major slacktivism is the term. What's Coney? Coney 2012 was the Ugandan warlord that had like child soldiers. Okay, yeah, yeah. And in 2012, everybody's, it was like hashtag Coney 2012, where it was like, we got to stop this warlord. What? Just some random fucking guy in Uganda. <laughs> And the whole West was like, we gotta, we gotta destroy this guy, dude. That's fucking crazy. And then uh, it turned out that the guy who made the documentary lost his shit and like ended up jerking off in public. And then Uganda's government was like, you guys don't understand the situation with him. Like, yeah, stay the fuck out of this. Of course you, have you don't. No yeah. idea what you're talking yeah. about. And like, so it went from like every single person was posting it online. Mm-hmm. as like this virtue signaling fucking like. You remember how? Uh, do you even remember that? 
I don't remember. It, it was. It, I just remember even then being like, "This is ridiculous that these people." I didn't know what virtue signaling necessarily yeah, yeah. was. But yeah. The fact that just like some dipshit I knew from high school was posting a Coney 2012 video on his Facebook. That's crazy. Like we need to stop this guy. Well, it feels good. Yeah. Exactly. I used to. I used to write for a website. This guy started a thing. I forget what the fuck it was called, but it, the whole point of the website was like. It was for people to pledge money and then write on Facebook that they pledged money to certain causes. And within like months, this guy had millions of people going. You could show yeah. what you did. And then he just took all that web traffic and turned it into like a viral blooper site. So I used to like go under viral videos and be like, look at this guy fall on his nuts on a rail. And he took all this like charity yeah. stuff and poured it. That's the move, dude. If you want to sell move. stuff, if you want to sell stuff to like 20 to 30 year olds just convince them they're like changing the world a little bit and they'll dude they're all fucking over it so when when it took a dark turn though after coney well after coney there was the backlash of like the guy got filmed jerking off in public that directed it stuff and like so people like slowly backed off and realized they were being kind of cunts about it it, yeah and then harambe died the girl that was in 2012 uh i think 12 or 13 what the fuck man i feel like i've been living on a rock i'm like what? I, I thought that was like last when year i read that i was like man i, I feel like i was just doing material on harambe <laughs> <laughs> i thought harambe was last year no harambe was a while ago what the fuck it was it was well, it was the <clears throat> next dark turn that like slacktivism yeah that was kind of the birth of like the alt-right and 4chan and all this shit because then they just started ironically and mockingly posting like R.I.P. Harambe, gotcha. hashtag yeah, yeah, Harambe, yeah, yeah. dicks out for Harambe, yeah. like all this shit. Well, that was, um, that happened to that, that dude Gaddafi. He was like, he was a villain, and then we loved him for a while, yeah. and then he was a villain again, and then we, like, he was trying to escape, because we basically unleashed his whole country on him, Yeah, and we drone striked his convoy, and he, like, ran and hid in a sewer, and they shoved a fucking stick up his ass and killed him. Yeah, Like, we that. totally, America totally did <laughs> yeah, that to him. Yeah, for sure. They're like, yeah, yeah, terrorism's your fault. So apparently it all, <laughs> it all came from Syria. They started unleashing suicide bombs, and people were just like, like they un- they unleashed a suicide bomb on Reagan, and he saw that. He's like, "We're going in the Middle East. We're going to straighten them out." Someone blew up a Marine base, a suicide bomber, and Reagan was like, "They're never going to scare us." And they pulled all the fucking <laughs> troops out. And he was like, "I'm not fucking with that at all." And the whole thing just went fucking crazy. Yeah, the uh... Syria's trying to up their tourism right now. Syria? I, I like swear to God, trip. I read a thing. It was like Syria's worried about their tourism. They're trying to up it. That'd be the best fucking tour. Like, yeah, and here we have a young girl raped over there in the bombed out building. <laughs> and now at the end of tour, I kidnap you. And now <laughs> I sell you for $50. It was hilarious. It's like, dude, you guys might want to wait a year no, before. No, I saw... Uh, Damascus is lit right now, yeah, dude. Yeah, there's... Uh, Get I, up I, there. I think it was on... <laughs> there's the white helmets. Yeah. There's, there was... a uh, Maybe it wasn't. The there ones was something about people, Syria. Yeah, crying were, for Syria. Where they were showing... That there's still like a beach life, there's still like a salt life section of Syria. What? There's still like a nice coast, like there's still I nice guess, dude. tourism there. I might head out there, dude. I mean, it's got to be fucking cheap. Syria? Yeah. <laughs> it would just suck to get like, because like, I was in Brazil and I got robbed with knives, but like being in Syria and just the, running the chance of getting like beheaded by a rogue warlord, dude, that would fucking suck. That would, dude. And just flying into the Syrian airport, it would just everyone would stop and be like, "You would totally kill the vibe." The music would be playing in there, be like, eh, eh, eh. they'd <laughs> see a fucking, fucking uh, see your Notre Dame gear. It'd be the fucking Star Wars <laughs> bar, dude. <laughs> yes. Yeah, serious tourism industry is fucking lit. I might become a Syrian travel agent. You should, man. You guys want to go to Damascus? Uh, and this is where Assad dropped a chlorine bucket on children, <laughs> right there. <laughs> Russia paid for the clear chlorine bucket, ice bucket challenge. <laughs> Apparently, uh, Assad's favorite band is, guess it, guess his favorite band. Assad's favorite yeah, band? Yeah, Assad Jr. Assad Jr. They're like the one we have now. Um, his favorite band. It's an older band. U2. ELO. <laughs> so like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've been watching nothing but Middle East documentaries the last. Like, I've, I've watched literally like maybe eight hours of like Middle East slash America conspiracy documentaries. My favorite it's is awesome. every time there's a bomb, mm-hmm. they the camera c- crew gets there, and then like one guy will run up to the camera, sometimes holding a dead kid, but like <laughs> and just be like, "This is all done." <laughs> Like pointing his hand straight in the air, just like this is the cost of your war. Like, oh, and yeah. Then 
there's always like three or four guys just standing behind him like fuck yeah yeah hell yeah dude and then and then it cuts to a crowd with guns and shit dude it the every, footage it's, it's every si- dude you're absolutely it was funny because i was watching that and every single middle eastern leader they all fist pump. They go. Yeah. They just. They raise their pump, their fists, and they get everyone. Everyone just gets so fucking yeah, hype over there. over there. All you gotta do is fist pump. If you're a leader, just be like, "We are the best. We are the best." And everyone's <laughs> just like, "Fuck yeah!" I was watching the footage of it, dude. It's so fucking funny. Yeah, it's a it's a real nightmare over there. It's it really sucks awesome. to watch those documentaries. I was loving ISIS it. documentaries, shit like that. It's just like, damn. I mean, dude, the idea damn. of the suicide bombing is fucking. Cra- I, I never really thought about where it came from. And how, like, some guy just read the Quran. He was like, because you're not supposed to kill yourself yeah. if you're a Muslim. And he's like, well, you're not killing yourself. You're sacrificing yourself for a holy war. Yeah. And they're like, well, you're not supposed to kill non-Muslims. And, or you're not supposed to kill Muslims either. And they're like... Well, they're not Muslims. They're infidels, dude. And yeah. it's like, what the fuck? And then uh, they usually get kids to do it. Yeah. And fucking... They get the school buses. They got wild time. It started off, they got the school buses, and they put a bunch of kids on a school bus and sent them into a minefield. And like, all right, run through that field. And then blow up all the mines. <laughs> They're like, you'll be in, you'll be, uh, you'll be with all. That's what happened in Iraq. Uh, I think it was Morocco. In the, you remember the coalition of the willing when we went into Iraq? No. Chappelle made fun of it when he was like, when he did Black Bush. Do you remember that? He's uh-huh. like, Japan's sending playstations. No, no. And he's like, so and so's dropping Stankonios, dropping bombs over Baghdad. <laughs> but uh, in real life, I think Morocco. I think it was Morocco gave us monkeys. For minefields, like you would open a crate of monkeys and let them run across the field and see <laughs> if they blow up. That's better than fucking kids for sure. But it's still hilarious. It's still to be fucking. Like, crazy. We uh, send you a hundred monkeys. Oh my to god! To run across field now. I mean that's bad, dude. When you're like army consists of like unleashing the monkeys, dude. <laughs> 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 they definitely come in barrels, too, dude. They pop the barrel off and they're all hook armed and they come out. <laughs> <laughs> just stepping on a landmine to do shit. Oh, dude. That's so crazy that. to think of someone somewhere just sitting across a field and just watching monkeys just <laughs> being disemboweled by explosives. That's got to be crazy. That's got to be That's good part day. of someone's day. They go home and like, my day was good. Very successful. Uh, several monkeys <laughs> have exploded. <laughs> yeah, it's so fucking crazy, dude. You ever see the bomb dogs they used in World War II? No, it was pretty fucking oh, sad. They sent the. I see. I don't know why monkeys are so much. Monkeys closer, are funnier. To they're die. so much closer yeah. to humans, but a dog, dude, Fuck is like, monkeys. oh man. They would they would train these dogs to run under tanks, and they would like they kept training them how to run under tanks. So they're suicide bomb dogs. Yeah. So then they would put a bomb on its back with a stick in the air, so oh. that when the stick bent <laughs> under the tank, it would explode. <laughs> they would send dogs. At tanks. I mean, please tell me they used like wiener dogs or something. If they used True. wiener I dogs, I think it might have been the Germans. So oh, it was they're like, chefs, probably dude. chefs. Although dachshunds, they use little dachshunds. <laughs> dachshund bomb, yeah. <laughs> Imagine a dachshund blowing up your tank. That'd... I mean, if you're in a tank and I'm like in the middle of tank warfare and I just see like a little wiener dog, I'd be like, huh? <laughs> that, it would definitely get me every You'd time. You'd definitely be like, light it up. Like, oh, shit. Now you gotta shoot that fucking thing. <laughs> I wouldn't expect a bomb on a dog's back. I'd be like, look at this fucking dog coming through the bat. I'd be like, oh, to hide shit. Under a tank. Yeah, I'd be like, yeah, I just want some warmth, like a stray cat. Yeah, I don't know if they ever really got to use those. I don't know how often they did. They but. definitely blew a couple dogs up to test them out. They're like, all right, sure. they threw a tennis ball. The dog was like, oh, sick, fetch. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. love this game. Monkeys blown up is a lot funnier. It also, fuck monkeys. I don't like them. I'm, I could give a fuck about monkeys. I mean, I like going to the zoo. They're my favorite thing to see at the zoo. But uh, yeah, if someone's like, here's a monkey, here's a dog, put one across the minefield, I would be like, Monkey. I'd hold my dog's collar and chuck a banana. For sure. Like, Yo, get it, baby. Get out of here, dude. They're just piece of shit people. <laughs> they are. Like the worst people. <laughs> they are. You ever see chimps out there doing crazy shit? They're assholes, dude. Yeah, they're just the worst type of person. Like They'll oh just God. rip people apart. And Yeah. I don't like them. Dogs, like on them. the other hand. They're, we've we've co-evolved with dogs, best. dude. We didn't they're co-evolve with monkeys. Obsessed with them. I love them. I'd love to send a tank dog out, though. You do? Yeah, be like, go fucking I'd take him. the bomb, dude, and fucking... I'd take it off my dog's back. You'd suicide. You would halal lock bomb. No, I would just throw it at the tank. and be like, come on, dog, we're out of here. <laughs> Fuck this. We're deserting. This is bullshit. Yes. Good stuff. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, the weekend the weekend was nice. Oh, yeah. You had a whole booked weekend. A whole weekend at Helium. That was fun. And then the the birds, dude. How do you feel about oh, your birds? Oh, my... Dude, I had been... the birds? I have been bedridden, bedridden with eagle's fever, dude. You, you I couldn't get it. up. I the couldn't. whole city's infested with eagle's fever. I couldn't move, dude. Birds. I actually fever. worked. I worked the day after for my cousin for a little bit, and I went to a warehouse, and, like, 
it was funny watching the after effects of like hangovers in action because like there's these three dudes trying to load just a simple crate onto a truck and they're all arguing. The crate fell over oh, twice. Man. They'd be like, "Get the fuck you, fuck you. <laughs> They're just sleep deprived and drunk from the night before. I thought everyone would be in good spirits. Uh, I mean, the metal shop was fucked up, man. Everyone in there was the kid on the thing, like fucking was like crashing into shit. He was having a tough time on the forklift. There's I some can't like imagine. Mexican dude was like, "Get off the forklift, dickhead!" <laughs> <laughs> it was so fucking funny. I I can't imagine what's gonna happen if they win this. Dude, it's gonna if be they win the Super Bowl. It's gonna be dogs with bombs strapped to their it back. Will be, it's, dude. Gonna, <laughs> it's gonna be monkeys. It's gonna be Damascus, dude. <laughs> We're going to get fucking chlorine drops on us. Be, ISIS could start, dude. Uh, we we, we, we should will. start ISIS in this revolution. We should. <laughs> it will. It'll be like, uh, yeah, it'll be like Arab Springs. Yeah. Let's have a bunch of fucking white trash Sniper. out there. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Sniper will start opening fire. We'll be like, holy shit, dude. Dude, I was here when the Phillies won. Governments are attacking. When the Phillies won, they had full SWAT. They had a school bus pull up. SWAT guys like swinging batons. Like, get the fuck out. And no one even cared about the no Phillies. No one gives a fuck about baseball. I saw a car get flipped. I saw a Toomey luggage store get the window broken. I was involved in a slight looting operation in Fuck a deli. Yeah. We were we were in a, everyone was in a deli and we're What'd waiting. You loot? In we were in a deli buying beer, and then the line was so long, everyone was like, "Fuck it!" And we just started chugging beers in this deli, and everyone just got fucking hammered in there. And then we walked outside and pissed against a wall, and some guy got too close to us. And my brother called him a bird watcher, and everyone started throwing shit at him. <laughs> <laughs> called him a bird watcher, dude. Like everyone was pissing in the alley, and they all looked at this guy and like, "Get the fuck out of here, you fucking oh, bird man. watcher!" It was sick, dude. The stories of like Viking fans coming to philly oh my god so funny hey, did anyone get beat up real bad uh i mean i saw videos of people getting like full beers i saw yeah i heard the beers like getting chucked there was also this video of uh this is how shitty fucking philly is they sent the local news station sent a reporter to minnesota to just talk Star- shit. dude just he flew to minnesota and was talking shit to was people. just out there just like what do you think of the game huh and, they, and if, you know, they found an ice fisherman. He's just in an ice shack, yeah. and he's like, oh, you know, uh, Minnesota's got a tough D, you know, and uh, I think it'll be a real good game, you know? And um, they had a you-know counter on the bottom oh of the screen. Oh, my God. And the Philly guy's like, yeah, you talk funny, <laughs> you asshole. And it's just like, dude. I saw the one guy get kind of shitty. Like, the old, the Minnesota guy was, like, kind of hip to what he was doing. and was like, oh, what's your problem, buddy? What's wrong with you? And the guy, yeah. it was so fucking funny. It was Minnesota. That's boy. hilarious to fly someone to talk shit to Minnesota. <laughs> to fly a news I, reporter out. I stand behind throwing a beer at a Vikings fan. Sure. I wouldn't do it, but the fact, and it's like. You show up in a jersey. What weird, what kind of weird person does that? Yeah. I've always wondered that. What are you trying to prove here? Like, what, what kind of sick fucking twisted person are you to be like, I'm going to wear the other team. It's like, I'm going to wear a fucking Vikings. Vikings jersey to the NFC championship. Why? That's like literally. I, that's that's a dumb idea. This this Super Bowl is gonna be nuts. I'm not gonna do. I'm not gonna victim blame. I said that that Vikings guy was asking for an ice True. cold Bud Light getting tossed at his back. <laughs> True. Dude. True. <laughs> dude, did you ever get a beer thrown at you? No. It fucking hurts. Yeah, probably. It fucking hurts. I bet. It's not fucking good. Yeah, I mean, it's like getting a little. It's like, like getting like a uh, rock thrown at you. Yeah, it would fucking hurt. <laughs> and it hits you. It goes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that and uh, you ever see those dudes at. Uh, like, uh, what the fuck is the horse race in Baltimore? It's not Pimlico. It's uh, I don't know what you're talking. I have no Preakness. Thing. Preakness, yeah, yeah. You ever see them do the uh, races on porta potties? No. So like, you get up and the infield at all these horse races, the middle yeah. is just packed with just the drunkest, yeah, craziest party, and uh, these dudes try to race the length of the porta potties. So you get on top and run across the roofs, and everybody, the game is everyone throws beers at them. How long Full are the porta potties? Be- long, dude. There's like thirty of them, and they fu- oh, they run on top they of all of them. They run on top and try to reach it to the end. Jesus dude, people Christ. get cracked in the head with <laughs> beers and like die. <gasps> That's yeah, funny. That's wonderful. Yeah, although there was that kid from Philly that threw up on that girl. You remember that? That was pretty shitty. Yeah, that was real dog shit. That was shitty. But it's also dude, don't I mean, go to the fucking game. Yeah, dude, stay out of the coliseum. And don't dude. wear don't wear that fucking jersey if you're going. That's true. And the guy was thrown up anyway, so he was like, well... <laughs> he gagged gonna... himself. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. <laughs> there was a guy that was like, hey, can you keep it down? And he gagged himself and threw up on the I guy's remember... kid. Oh, you're right. <laughs> oh, my God. It's also this great fucking... This kid punching a police horse and getting fucking beat up by the cops on the horses. <laughs> And like it looks like a renaissance painting it's so fucking sick oh my god there's just this guy like without his shirt getting attacked by two cops on horses it's awesome <laughs> they're just rearing up on him yeah it's 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 really beautiful picture. i mean dude it's 
I don't know. I mean, people. I I don't really take offense. People like Eagles fans are the worst. I to me, I think it's hilarious. Yeah, they like are when the worst. they when they called. There I was hate a, them. I went down to games this year. I was like, dude, this fucking sucks. Yeah, this this is all the shittiest people. I haven't been to one. Just getting you haven't. I haven't, I haven't been to an Eagles game. Dude. I think in like fucking seven years. Dude, I went down there and got a little fucked up, and it was like it's tough. It's like I just want to go home, man. This is. Well, it's funny. I I went to a ball. I went to more losers. Baltimore Ravens games. I used to mow a lady's lawn. She used to give us her Baltimore Ravens tickets, and everyone like they would drop passes, and everyone there was like, ah, next time you'll ah, get them. And I was shoot. looking around like, what the fuck? <laughs> it was bizarre. Yeah, you guys aren't gonna call him a faggot? Yeah, exactly. I'm like, what the fuck? He dropped the pass. He's why, gay, dude. Why didn't anyone yell the n word? <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, it was. Uh, I I thought at least I'm like yeah like when I after that game was over I'm like. Eh, it's been a while. Maybe everyone will be a little bit more calmed down and yeah. more civil. And it's like, nope. No, that's. I mean, regular season you could pull it off. Like we went to that Niners. It's too game. exciting, dude. We went to the Niners Eagles game late in the season, but or like mid season, and we went with Soder, who was a 49ers fan. Yeah. And like the week leading up to it, he was like, "I'm gonna wear a jersey." Yeah. We're like, "Yeah, maybe don't. Yeah. Maybe don't <laughs> yeah. fucking do I'm that. Sitting, like yeah, we yeah. don't want to f- have to fight." Yeah. And uh, I think he wore like a Niners hat, but it was raining. Yeah. Everyone was wearing ponchos. You no one pull gave a that fuck. Off, yeah. And it was the 49ers. They sucked. Yeah. But if it was like a Cowboys game or a playoff nah, game, it's like definitely don't don't go. Yeah, if don't you do stand it. up and cheer, these these people around you are drunk, oh, and fucking pain kill addicted, yeah. pain pill addicted fucking carpenters. And they're fucking mad. Yeah. They're really fucking mad. They're like they're emotionally pissed. distraught. And then you're being like... Yes. yes. And it, here's dude. the one thing you, the only thing that's good in your life is the Philadelphia Eagles. Yep. And I'm going to come in here with a Vikings jersey and be like, oh, told you so. Ugh. How about the Vikings? Skull Vikings, huh? <laughs> it's just like, dude, yeah, I'll <laughs> fucking kill you, dude. They, exactly, dude. Some guys, and that's actually a side effect of opiate abuse is like anger outbursts. Well, that's so you get a guy a drunk, yeah, exactly, drunk, all perked up, and like they're getting like double perk vision, and they're just looking around, and they see that purple blob, and they're like, <laughs> "Fuck him! This is the source of my problems." It is. Get an ice cold fucking. You get like, the course light to the back of the head, your wife's head. You get a... <laughs> your wife sustains a fucking silver bullet to the back of the dome, dude. Like a white trash werewolf. Imagine the fucking never-ending ca- cascade of shit. You're under the game. Your wife's like, can you please take off the Viking stuff? You're like, babe, I'm not going to let them tell oh. me what to do. And she takes 12 cold-activated <laughs> ounces to the back of the head. <laughs> the can's just fucking blue, dude. It just hits her right in the head. Oh, like a Tron bike, dude. Just a blue laser going through the air. Right to the back of your wife's head. <laughs> oh. And she sustains a concussion. Oh, my God. And you always... That'd be sick if she's like, what happened? You're like, you fell. That's great. I don't know what happened. <laughs> you were talking shit. <laughs> you said go Vikings. I don't know. Yeah, that's... Uh, yeah, you got to know... Everybody said these guys are pieces of shit. Don't go in there wearing that fucking jersey. True that. Well, I mean, I'm not going to fucking... Uh, I'm not going to go into Dubai and like... Wear a fucking wear a dress. Fucking, yeah, you're not going like, to dress yeah, like a fucking, <laughs> like you're selling insurance on the yeah, highway wearing a fucking Statue of Liberty outfit. Yeah, <laughs> you're not going to go to fucking ISIS like, woo, number one, dude. Yeah. <laughs> this is not a good idea. Yeah, let's, uh, let's take a little let's break. Take a no. We're back. All right. Oh, my God. Fuck yeah. A little family drama today, dude. Yeah, you had some, dude, vikes, some vikes in your family getting fired well, up. Well, it's that, and it also deepens my... My decision away from Facebook, yeah, because it's. Ba- I've I've said it before that it's bad to have everyone's inner thoughts just like spread out on this platform. That now we all yeah, have no to deal. Shit. It breaks up families, dude. Yeah, my my fucking aunt goes on about like how she's a Dallas fan, which again I have my theories about when people from one town like the rival. So it's like it's kind of a weird. Yeah, you're just being a cunt. It's just weird to me. It's like although it, I live in Central PA and love Notre Dame. That does, that's that's an just Irish thing. It's Penn different. State, that's dude. different, dude. That's an True. Irish thing. That's us Catholics bonding against all these these swarms these of fucking, Protestant fucking retards. Yeah, dude. These pedophiles. Speaking of Protestants, it's Catholics retards, against dude. pedophiles. Dude. It is <laughs> pedophile and pedophile. It's a civil war. <laughs> but yeah, it's like so they they're just like Philly fans are trash. Then like you know people from my family are like, what the fuck is your problem? And then like <laughs> her husband's on there being like, fuck you guys. And it's like, dude, are we really some like white trash family arguing yes, on Facebook? hundred percent. No. Yeah, you definitely are. It's Facebook, dude. You guys. It's the fucking Jews. Got in a family. <laughs> it is the Jews <laughs> that tricked your white trash family into coming out of hiding. <laughs> but it is that's one of the more white trash. First off, yeah. loving the NFL. Is a very white trash. <laughs> it's really white trash. Well, it was because my 
my uncle, yeah, my uncle, I guess. Yeah, my uncle, like the guys who said the old lady from Minnesota Vikings. So there's a hundred year old fan at the Minnesota game. Hundred year old fan, Mabel. and two guys said "fuck Mabel" at a thing, which is hilarious, yeah, dude. To be like, "There's, Mabel. there's your warm-hearted story." Fuck Mabel, dude. Yeah. We just butt fuck the Vikings. Fuck hilarious. That old bitch. And this dude, this She'll dude, die. and he was fucking around too, obviously. But he purported that they didn't respect women because their mothers were whores and got passed around. Oh, so then my sister was so like, the "What Vi- the fuck the are you?" Fan. Yeah, my sister was like, "What the fuck are you talking he defended about?" Defended Mabel. Yeah, defended seven. Oh, really? For his team, dude. I mean, they got. Fuck. Yeah, they got they got destroyed. So now my family's arguing like a bunch of fucking white trash on Facebook. I'm getting screenshots. I'm like, Jesus Christ, guys, oh, come on. Oh. We should all there should be like There should be a family Facebook. There should be like a white trash AIDS test screening for Facebook and be like, <laughs> What would you do if your aunt's posted about the eagle sucking? You're like, I'd fucking tell her that she's a bitch. <laughs> it was like, all right, you're fucking yeah. off. That's the best. Zuck's in the corner right now, dude. Everyone's coming out being like, Facebook is fucked up. It's evil. It takes advantage of people. And he's like, oh, we're rebranding right now. He's an evil little fuck, dude. You don't like him? No, he fucking colonized Hawaii. He won man. He fucking stole a bunch of Hawaiian's land. It's like, no, we want a better world. We're connecting each other. He's yeah, a fucking freak. It's dude. like Israeli settlement. Do you ever watch Body? <laughs> yeah, exactly. That yeah. Is. Fucking Zuckerstein, dude. Or Zucker, whatever it's Berg. called. <laughs> <laughs> no, Zucker... Uh, Palestine. It's fucking Zuckerstein, dude. <laughs> All right. But he, uh, <laughs> Zuck's real. Oh, man. I didn't realize Palestine had a Jewish name. Palestine? <laughs> Zuckerstein? The Steins, dude. Palestine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but yeah, so he, uh, I watch these videos about like people's body emotion. So it's like they'll they'll like watch him and then break down like his different like body tics. Yeah, I watched and they, that. Clearly, he's fucking uncomfortable. That one where he's all sweaty. And and he's that taking one off his jacket. And he puts his hoodie back on. Dude, he's a fucking freak. That's definitely like a dude who read all the pickup artist books and somehow just fucking hit a billion dollars. Yeah. He's like, little good. What? Well, now? he just stole it from those hot guys. Who? The hot guys that invented it at Harvard. Hot guys invented Facebook. Yeah. Probably to check out babes, dude. And he was like, yeah. now I can well, feed was, information that to the was government. What it was for. Really? Yeah. And what did he do? It was supposed do? to be just within Harvard. Harvard. Yeah, yeah. And then just within New England colleges. And it was kind of, I would guess, kind of like a pre tender where you just look at hot chicks and like, jerk off to the pictures. party is. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to rape you because it's still legal. Yeah. Back it's then. 2004, it's legal. Yeah, it's Lollapalooza, dude. You're definitely going to slip a Mickey in your drink. <laughs> yeah. And then he, uh, he jewed out and he stole it. Really? Yeah. He's like, I'm going to sell everyone's individual information to the government. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to tear apart families. Dude, now, after our Catholic uh, episode, dude, Jews are on our team. Catholics not with the Jews. Facebook bullshit, dude. No, I'm, I'm pro Jew. I'm, dude, I stand outside all of it. I'm not against Jews. I'm yeah, against Zuck, are. dude. I'm not you against Jews. It, you screamed it was the Jews' fault that your it white was, it was, no, no, no. fought about it, the No, NFL. no, no. It was the Jews' fault. Mark Zuckerberg. Oh, the, the individual Jew. Jew. So the Jew, Mark Would that Zuckerberg. be a proper noun? Is that a capital yeah. J? Is that the Jew? It was the Jew, Mark Zuckerberg, tore my family you know, Jesus apart. used to be the Jew. And then he turned Don't his back on that, that bullshit, dude, and started Catholicism. <laughs> he was like, this actually, shit sucks. He was like, yo, I'm actually God, dude. <laughs> Bring out those hookers. <laughs> but yeah, dude, that was like, a, I just, I hated that, man. That fucking pissed me off. And he's yeah. under he's under fire right now for creating like a self reflective thing to where he's all he's tailoring everyone's news feeds to be like, this is all your news. It agrees with everything you say and do. Yeah. And everyone's like, yeah, he knew I was right. That's yeah. why he he ruined America, dude. The Zuck. Jew, Mark Zuckerberg, <laughs> ruined America. I uh, just watched a thing on Marie Antoinette. I think Zuckerberg could be headed that that route. Do you think we could fucking behead him? That'd be sick. You think he's gonna get a fucking beheaded? <laughs> we could get, the masses could get fired up and cut his head off. We gotta start a. I want to start a CIA coup from Hawaiians. So I got you gotta get a bunch of like fat Hawaiians you fucking get going rock. against his Zuck. <laughs> and Barack Obama, yeah, dude. Fucking rocks paid for. Obama's a fucking yeah. He's a Obama's puppet. a Clinton. He's a fucking Clinton puppet. Yeah, dude. He's a fucking. Clinton. Who's who do we have left, dude? Got Trump daddy. Stone Cold. <laughs> Stone Cold Steve Austin and Donald Trump. Trump daddy's hanging on. Although he's a... Uh, Trump daddy's a real fucking dumb shit, dude. He's, he's tied into some weird KB, KGB stuff. Yeah. He's, he's He's got his move from the Russians. I don't know why. He tricked me into liking him, dude. People and he ever thought he would... He fucking... Dude, when he came out and went on stage and was like, I'm paying you, I'm paying you. Yeah, so conspiracy sick. nuts like me were like, fuck yeah, dude, we got a guy. And then he was like, get these fucking Muslims out of here. And then other guys were like, fuck yeah. And then I'm like... Yeah, you know, just saying the Muslims. Yeah, so everyone's kind of have a little bit of hedge on them. Yeah, 
And then he was like, everything about me is a lie. And now everyone's like, fuck, dude. Everyone's against him. Putin did the same thing. Yeah, Trump's... Uh... Putin's right-hand man was a fucking playwright. Yeah. And Putin's right-hand man would fund, like, uh, neo-Nazi groups, <laughs> protest groups. He would fund all these groups, and they'd come out and be like, yeah, Putin funded you guys. And they'd be like, what the fuck? It'd be like, find out, like, McDonald's sponsored the Women's March. You'd be like, what the fuck? It probably did. They probably did. Pepsi tried to. <laughs> did they really? Remember that? Oh, with the commercial, yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, you could literally just rain Tootsie Rolls down on them, and they'd be like, ooh, sweet treats. You fucking stop that whole thing in its tracks, dude. What, just get some candy out <laughs> yeah, there? Yeah. Just you, you just get individual trails of candy to each one of their kitchens. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> just pick it up and be like, women are powerful. Mm, this is good. Women are really powerful. Oh, this is a good sweet treat. Oh, my a laffy God. taffy. Oh, my God. The dude, I'm telling fun. you, man. I, anytime I'm in like some sort of like little like meeting or conference with a bunch of women with like light refreshments... There'll be like some Chips Ahoy there, and I watch chicks, and then sweet when they're treats. bored, eat sweet shit, and it's just like, I look at them, and I'm just like, what the <laughs> fuck are you doing? They uh, love cookies, dude. Give me some salted meats. I, that's what I'm saying, man. If somebody puts a tray of salted <laughs> meat out, dude, I'm a fucking shark. I circle it, dude, take a bite, circle it. Some table. rolled up fucking ham, dude. Rolled ham. <laughs> rolled ham in Spain, dude. When I was in Spain, they'd just give you ham. I would. I was begging bartenders just to be like, dude, give me the fucking ham. Please give me a piece give me of ham. Give me another beer and as much of that ham as I can get. <laughs> oh, dude. So you just reminded me about Europe. That So I read the story about this, this Danish inventor. Yeah. I forget the guy's fucking name, but apparently he brought a journalist onto a submarine. Fuck yeah. Comes back up. That's Jur- consent. Journalist, journalist is missing. Dude, listen to what he fucking did. <laughs> There's no consent to this. The journalist is missing. After he surfaces? He goes, I don't know where she is. Yeah, he surfaces. She's, she's missing. This is in... Dan- this is in what if, what's Danish called? Denmark. Denmark. He's in... I almost called it Daneland. Like, He's in Daneland. <laughs> so the fucking reporter's missing. He's like, I don't know where she went. We were on the submarine. Who the fuck? I'm not... You know, yeah. I'm, not I'm, I'm not this lady's fucking, you know, keeper. <laughs> it's like, yeah, you are on a submarine. <laughs> yeah, you fucking are. Her body parts wash up on shore. Her severed limbs and head and shit washes oh. up on shore. And they're like... Yo, bro, <laughs> what the fuck's up with her body parts? And he was like, oh, yeah, she had an accident on the submarine. <laughs> she, <laughs> she hit her head. She fell into the garbage. She hit her head. And he was like, yeah, and we found her body's all chopped up. He's like, yeah, so I chopped up her body. And threw her out the sea. <laughs> He's like, she was already dead. I didn't kill her. I just chopped up her body. So they finally charged this guy with life sentence. Guess what is, how long his life sentence is in fucking Denmark? How long? 16 years. It's going to be tough. That's nothing, dude. If you were in a marriage you disagreed with, you could murder. You could literally ch- behead your you wife. Get a submarine first. <laughs> no, you don't even need one. <laughs> yeah. You could just behead your wife and then just do. Si- you'd be married for twenty years anyway. He had just a good do case. sixteen hard years and dude, Denmark prisons are not that bad. So you basically chill in a room with an Xbox and you get out and you're just like, well, there I go. Back on Tinder. <laughs> <laughs> that was insane to me. Second date, he's like, I got a submarine. I mean, imagine bringing a girl onto your submarine and then just fucking chopping her to pieces. It's like, that's the most insane. That was right when the Aziz Aziz thing came out. I'm like, that's a fucking tough date. That was a fucking time's up. Sucking Aziz's dick five times in his Airbnb is not the worst thing, dude. (laughs) Fucking getting chopped up by a Danish psycho (laughs) in a submarine. (laughs) That was, dude, that that was the same week. That was, was fucking terrifying. Him fucking hitting you with a knife, and that's terrifying. In a fucking submarine, too. Yeah, there's, there's a no bunch of shits. Hide. Everything's beeping and sonars <laughs> are going off. He's like, hey, check this out. <laughs> yeah, that's also the worst place on earth to murder someone. Yeah. It's to be like, yeah, me and this girl are going out on a sub- <laughs> submarine. <laughs> and you resurface. Like, it's just me now. <laughs> She's gone. I don't know what happened. The best is how he's like, oh, yeah, we had an accident. And I oh, like, chopped her up it, and I threw, forgot about that. <laughs> threw her out to the ocean. <laughs> he holds a bunch of like biomedical patents. He's fucking loaded. Dude, has, I mean, obviously he has a submarine. Sick move. He fucking had to chop a chick up, dude. He had to. I mean, imagine what the fuck was going through his head. That's a good day. He's probably like, can I get some head? And she was like, no. And he just totally barack it out. Like, chop, 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 chop. <laughs> then technically, it was if it was maritime law, he was the captain. Yeah. I mean, he he might have might have stymied a mutiny. He was like, I demand you to give me head. She's like, no. He's like, Dah. That's a mutiny. <laughs> he fucking. There was a Japanese thing that was like that, where the prison sentence was so short that it was just like, this. Vice did an interview with this guy that ate a chick. What? He ate her. <laughs> And they interviewed him, and he's like, oh, she was a very tasty girl. <laughs> yeah, dude. And, it, like, 
he was so open about it because he was already convicted. What do you do, like six months probation? Yeah, he did. <laughs> they were just like, oh, don't leave your house. You eat the girl, you stay inside for three hours. But uh, <laughs> they grounded him. Yeah, they grounded him for like two days. <laughs> you fucking, he, how much ever did he eat? A lot. I know he ate her ass. Did he, <laughs> it was ass eating season did in Japan, really? dude. Yeah, he, he like did filleted, he like freeze her yeah, and he, save her for a while. He uh, and he wrote about it in his journal for like a while before he did it. About how it he was like, to eat I her. think it was like a French foreign exchange student and Taste, she lived in his apartment tasty. and he was like oh <laughs> I mean if you were going to eat someone a French, French foreign, foreign exchange, exchange student sounds tasty <laughs> sounds like definitely the best person to eat <laughs> it's all like butter fed from the ears and all that like fucking coffee and baguettes yeah that's a good one it's probably flaky oh I don't think I ever got to say this either although what? we should probably keep going on Japanese cannibals <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, he he has this journal. He has like pictures he drew and stuff of like oh. him, like him as like a demon, like flaying her ass, what? like taking the skin off her butt cheeks and like cooking them. So he made rolled up ham out of her yeah, butt cheeks. He did. He hammed it up. Oh my god! A very good, a very tasty. Dude, it's so weird when you think you're fucked up and then you read a story about a guy like fucking shaving a chick's butt meat off and eating it. <laughs> and you're like, Jesus Christ, man! I don't even. I'm, I'm like, yeah, that's I don't on hold Vice. A you should check that out. That's a great fucking documentary. It's hilarious. I talked about the one before about the cop who got in trouble for that. Yeah, that was nuts. In the fantasy world, his boy's screen name was Girl Meat Hunter, and they're all about eating girls. <laughs> they oh, never, yeah, they right. never did that's it. Right. They never that's did right. it though. That's they should have met up with that Japanese dude. Yeah, yeah that was fucking. I showed them the ropes. <laughs> that might have been Girl Meat Hunter. <laughs> that was probably him. But uh, this is what I want to say. I don't think I ever said this. Uh, Call of Duty. Did I say it on here? What? I played the rest of yeah, it. Yeah, you said it. You said there was no. Uh... No, no, that was the. No, that was my first uh, accusation. Okay. Was there's no swastikas and there's you said there's checks. plenty of them. And then I started to play the campaign, and like right away you see swastikas, and it's all white guys. And I was like, oh, oh yeah, yeah, this is exactly never... what it should be. Then I kept playing. Uh oh. And in like the third level, this they're like, we've got to meet up with British special forces. I thought you're. Gonna... Of course, it's a fucking British chick. I thought it was Black Hitler, dude. Black... I thought they showed no. <laughs> I thought it was Black Hitler. You can't... That's all in multiplayer. You can you can be a black chick on multiple. That's sick, but uh, you meet up with this British chick who's got like a machine gun and roll. She's like, "Oh, we gave Jerry a good fight, huh?" It's like, uh, "No, you didn't. <laughs> no, you fucking didn't. <laughs> Why are you doing this?" So then the same level that you were trying to shoot her the whole yeah, time, I was was saying, get out of here. It's like friendly fire will not be tolerated. You should have took her in the submarine. You should put her dude. in the submarine, dude. I kept fragging her. I was throwing grenades. I'm like, grenades out. Oh shit, I fucked it up. You should have fucking took her in the submarine, submarine dude. And be like, I don't know. She, she had an accident. <laughs> she bumped her head, and the next thing I knew, I was chopping her up. <laughs> but uh, then the next level, you're a French female resistance fighter. And it's just like... Wait, a plug in fucking vets? What? Like D-Day level? Well, they already did that. But then you're in France, and now you're a female French resistance civilian. Oh, so you're against the French government? No, you're against the Nazis that are occupying France. As a French civilian. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm thinking, yeah, sorry. But then they just they just took movie. They just made it every single movie. So like the opening scene, they just made Saving Private Ryan. Yeah, like yeah. To the point where when they lower the doors down, the machine guns come in. You jump over the sides. It does the in and out of the water shot. Yeah. You know what like, I mean? <gasps> yeah. And then when you land on the beach, a bomb goes off and it does that ringing noise. And you look around in slow-mo. Yeah. And then, but th- then when you're the French lady who's a spy, they just copied... Inglorious Bastards, like German officers will come up to you and they're all like giddy, like what's his name is in Inglorious Bastards. Mm-hmm. He's like, oh, like that's a bingo. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah. so fun to speak English. <laughs> and then uh, that sucks. Yeah, it's just like, god damn it, dude. I'm trying to fucking kill Nazis. I'm trying to play World War II. Yeah, and no I one's... still have to be a, fee- a kick ass lady. I feel like that's in everything now, though. It's like a lot of songs are just pure samples of other songs. Yeah, yeah. Now the video games, there's no like original storyline. The video game was just pure every World War II movie. That sucks. And then it was... Uh, it's because we're not fucking letting ourselves do deep work anymore. I could tolerate the French Resistance female. Yeah. Because that was real. They yeah. did have those. But just this British female... With a machine special gun? Special forces, like, follow me. Like, no. It's like, what the fuck, dude? That sucks. Why are they doing this? I mean, that'd be like Red Dead Redemption, and it's just like a gang of like hot chicks out in the desert who are cowboys. You'd be like... Yeah, I'm gonna break in there and kill them. Yeah, I'm gonna get a submarine. Yeah, that sucks. And I, I mean, I would be willing to guess if you were to do like the stats on people who played that game, 
Yeah. You're not helping anyone. 90% men. You're not helping anyone. Yeah, that's all men. But it's, you know, it gets in the new game. It's, I mean, it's a World War II game. Yeah. It's like these were not fucking females. Yeah, but everything's made now to be blogged about. And to like, yeah, get yeah, some yeah. sort of outrage. So now it's like a bunch of people are like, what the fuck? And then everyone's like, well, I want to see this like, There's a really strong female character in the yeah. new Call of Duty. Congratulations, Call of Duty. Every time they do a future yeah. one, it's female soldiers. Yeah, yeah. And you can't argue that. You no, can't be future. like, god damn it. It's future. <laughs> but uh, still, every time, like, they're not going to use them. Get out of here. Yeah, I mean, by, I'm hoping we're not like by then fucking all the hot chicks aren't like shooting robots out of the sky. That'd be, that'd be negative. That'd be, I, I, dude, I'm, I'm telling you, man. I, women can do... My whole thing is like, you guys want to join the army? Join the fucking army. You want to work construction? Fucking by all means. I will stay home. I would love to see you guys go do that shit. Woo! I mean, just fucking go do it. I tried to join the army. It (laughs) sucks. There's a reason they use guys for it. There's a reason. It sucks. I was too feminine. You were? I was too... I'm too much of a lady. I was in the military just like... I gotta find a job where I could sleep all day. <laughs> yeah, not the fucking military. My thing is like they use guys for that because it fucking sucks. Yeah, of course. It's like go do it. I'm not like you can of if course. you if you want to be in the army or if you want to run a jackhammer, fucking by all means. It fucking blows. Yeah. Consider yourselves fucking lucky. You ever tamp in ninety degree <laughs> it heat? Sucks. It fucking blows. It Although fucking I love the tamper. Dude. Tamper is my tamping is pretty. Tamping chill. is the shit. But. I actually I'm a I'm a jackhammer master, dude. Really? Yeah. I'm I, 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 the only thing I ever do. But you is go, you go home and your your knuckles Still your knuckles vibrate shit. for like three days. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like I could do that. It's like yeah. It's it, all this shit reminds me of when I wanted to mow the lawn when I was ten. I was like I can mow the lawn, Dad. And he was like, all right, mow the fucking lawn. And then, and then I did in, it. You're like God damn it. Yeah, I did it. I'm like yeah, fuck yeah. And I got done. My dad's like, you ready to mow the lawn again? I was like, nah, I'm cool. I did it. And he's like, no, you got to mow the lawn forever now. And I was like, fuck. Yep. That's I mean, dude. That's what's gonna happen. You have chicks chilling on like a steel beam. And they're gonna just be like. The fuck am I doing? Fucked up. I could have been wearing like a weird wraparound infinity scarf in an office right now, fucking sitting on my That's ass. What, well, they, they like to point to World War II when they helped in the factories. Mm-hmm. They're like, women can do it. We're kick ass. It's like the only reason you did that is because guys weren't there. Yeah. And they needed someone. Yeah. And then when the guys came back, back inside for you. Or fuck, dude. Congratulations. You're out of the factory. Go to the, yeah, exactly. Go to the fucking uh, Ford <laughs> factory, dude, and have a blast. Oh man, it's fucking. I worked sucks. in a factory with ladies. Did you? And they were the. You worked most, in the ice cream factory. Yeah, the, uh, the creamery. <laughs> they were the most sexist, perverted really? ladies. I got me too to every single day. And the they're well, like, what are you studying to be a doctor? Because if you go to college and work in a factory, you just yeah, you're like good college hunting, boy. Dude. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, yeah. So you're getting yeah, like you're getting attacked by like old like failed lunch ladies old, in the factory, like Eastern European, disgusting, <sighs> out of Steelton, Pennsylvania fucking factory ladies that Jesus were just like Christ. are you studying to be a doctor i'd be like no they'd be like you should be a gynecologist you can be my gynecologist and i was just like oh my god dude you're the grossest fucking lady oh. ever well there was that big story about was it ford or like detroit whatever whatever plant or like uh automobile plant they have in there that was a huge story about how women get like sexually hurt like, they walk by guys and like come suck my dick well yeah dick, those guys bitch. are the dumbest fucking people yeah, on I earth know, i know and so are they suck though my the dick, women bitch. That, the women that i worked around were just as bad they were yeah. all the same thing they yeah. were all like if the opposite sex was here they were going to sexually harass it yeah because <laughs> other than that they're just sitting there gluing cardboard together that's true over and over again that's totally true yeah. yeah, and they're like, and then there's like this guy who was like, you can blow me to get days off, and it's like, that's that's I a textbook this, Walmart manager, dude. This story still haunts me. These two guys that worked in the factory. In the creamery? Yeah. Were also pieces of shit. Ice cream factory is so funny. Ice cream factory sucked dick, dude. It's like a fucking negative, it's like a Willy Wonka dystopia. It dude. is. Well, first off, there's no, you don't even fucking touch ice cream, really. It's just packaging. <laughs> it's just packaging. So you're, t- like, I would cut my hands all day on this, like, the metal rim that goes around the top of those gallon jugs. Yeah, that's fucking sharp. It's, yeah, it's just sharp metal that you gotta bend. It's funny thinking about how many disappointed souls are in there thinking they'd touch ice cream that day. Yeah. They're like, wait, well, you two could, weeks? You could just go steal scoops right out of could it. You? I was fucking munching I did ice that cream. At, I did that at Brewster's. I used to literally stick my fingers in the ice cream at Brewster's and just like lick it off and then like go back to what I was doing <laughs> and fucking make cones. Right. So these two dudes that I knew in there that were also disgusting. Yeah. The, the grossest lady and those two dudes... <laughs> They they were working the night shift, and they went out to their truck to tag team this chick. Oh. And the lady's like a big, fat, disgusting fucking lady. I'm actually getting kind of hard right now. These two dudes are really fucking, like one I don't think had teeth. Like, these are really fucking shitty people. 
Just, I mean, yeah, they're shitty. <laughs> I was going to be like, maybe they had a good heart, but it's like, no, they were shitty. No, they're fucking having Devil's Threesome in yeah. the Ice Cream Factory parking lot. And dude. then it turned out, this was so gross, because this lady was even the grossest lady ever. It was like, apparently she was on her period. <laughs> and the guy was the guy told me the story. He was like, and we got out of that truck, and it looked like someone had flipped over a pizza on the front seat. And I was just oh. like, dude, that is the grossest fucking story I've ever heard in my fucking life. college boy, dude. You could yeah. handle the fat devil's threesome, dude. I got dude. the fuck out of that <laughs> job, dude. <laughs> I was... I was, They're probably uh, breathing in like weird fucking ice cream fumes all uh, day, and they, all all they could do was fuck. Could have been the hormones in the milk, dude. They're and all the black guys, milk. the black guys worked in the freezer, which was really funny. Did they really? Yeah. What did they do? Half an hour in and yeah, out. Yeah, or whatever? yeah, it was sick. Dude, I worked in the freezer a little bit, and it was fucking sick. The freezer's half hour lit. on, half hour off. Yeah. It's negative thirty in in the freezer. What? It's crazy. You touching ice cream back there? You would get fucking no. It was just boxes. You, you just touch move boxes. That I sucks. would break into the. Uh, <laughs> Break into the Reese's, you know the little mini Reese's they put in ice cream. Yeah. You could crack open a crate of that. It was so fucking good. They used to have like, yeah, they had like canisters of toppings. I used to fucking yeah. take it out, hit it in the hand, dude, and hit Reese's. The worst job was uh, you replenishing the fudge. Oh. So you would have to crack open those fucking plastic barrels and pour it in, <laughs> and then crack open another one and pour it in. Just all day, just it was so hard. It was so hard. Just a pure fudge mule, dude. <laughs> it was so fucking hard, dude. And then. Uh, <laughs> Your time at the ice cream factory. Ice cream factory, dude. Factory work fucking it sucks. Is the worst thing you can factory do. Factory suck. Warehouses. I used to work in a uh, warehouse for like two years, and it was so depressing. And I like forgot about it. And then I was in that warehouse two days ago, in like a metal fabrication warehouse. You can hear the lights. It's just like everything's zzz. so old in there, and I'm like, mm. God, this is fucking abysmal in here. It's just, just like weird metal dust everywhere, and everyone's just kind of like waddling around, all fucked up with bad legs. It's fucking terrifying. Yeah. The, the, I will say that the the guys were fun though, like because I knew factory? I was I knew I was leaving. Yeah, it was a summer job. That makes those jobs a lot more. So like, I was fucking like you could fuck around with the guy, and they were happy to have college kids there. Like, yeah, they were yeah. like, here's some yeah. some injection of not us fighting every just day. Life, yeah. But um, <laughs> yeah, they even had the black guys wear different outfits. <laughs> they really <laughs> they wear, like blue jumpsuits. Everyone else was in white. It was like prison. Yeah. And then I I would just I was the worst possible worker. I would sleep in the break room as long as I could oh, every day. So fucking funny. Yeah. It wasn't good. I, I shamed my father. At the he ice cream sold, factory. He's he was a salesman for that ice cream factory. Was he really? Yeah. That's Why how I got couldn't the job. you go slang some fucking ice cream? I, I don't know. He he would only give me the like if my dad got me a summer job. Cause I wasn't getting jobs. Yeah. I was like, Dad, I play fucking football. And then I quit football. But uh if if he got me a summer job, it was just the worst job he could find. Yeah, yeah. But he was like, I have a friend that owns an auto auction. You can go work there and clean yeah, like, repoed like, cars. Oh. I'd be like, all right, fine. I'd be like, am I, I am friends with the guys that own the factory. You can work in the factory. I'd be like, what the fuck? I'd be like, it'll toughen you up. I'd be like, you never worked in a fucking factory, dude. <laughs> you never touched the metal on the he ice worked, cream. He worked in a moving company for like a summer, and he still brags about it. Really? Yeah, that's all he talks about. Like, if we're moving shit. He's That's always so like, Shane, funny. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I, worked, I worked at a moving company. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> well, he's a painter, too. Can't he paint? Yeah, I mean, out of out of my mom watching the home shopping or fucking oh, HGTV so fucking every funny, day. Dude. That, there's... She, she, she'll buy shit constantly, and he'll just be like, Jesus. And, and my mom does a good job. She is a really good uh, mm-hmm. interior decorator. Yeah, it looks nice. But it's just constantly changing. Our house is just constantly... <sighs> Brutal. Like we need hardwood floors. <laughs> like we need hardwood floors in this room. Ugh. My dad's just like, all right. My dude, Brittany, my girlfriend does that with dollars. like apartments. So like we moved, we've moved fucking like three times. We yeah. live in the same building. We went upstairs. We we're downstairs, upstairs to downstairs. Then yesterday we passed another building. We still have like six months on our lease. And she was like, oh, pull over. I'm gonna get the number for that place. And I'm like, for fucking what? She's like, I don't know. I just maybe we could break our lease and go there. And I'm like, dude, stop. <laughs> she just loves everywhere she looks. She like, we'll be down near like. Rittenhouse, which is like the nicest part of Philly. And she's like, I could live there. And I'm like, no fucking shit you could. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's the nicest fucking word. It's like 2500 a month. <laughs> well, dude, also think about that. If you're a chick, how nice it must be to just move. Oh, you, yeah. you don't move anything. You carry like pillows. I know, And you get dude. a new apartment and everything's arranged how you decide. It's yeah, like exactly. It's like the Sims in real life. It is, it is. You're just like, oh, I put the couch there. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I think it'll look better. Turn it around. Put it over dude, there. It's just like, all right, sure. Every time we move, I'm like... I'm, I gotta like I sleep like an extra two hours a day for like a week. I'm just totally oh, destroyed. Oh. And she's like, "Isn't this great?" I'm like, "Dude, we're not moving for three years. I fucking hate moving." Yeah, or redecorating. 
That sucks like, too. It's moving like, dude, shit around. If I stayed in this room, as yeah. long as I live in this room, nothing in this room is going to change, no. dude. This is exactly how this will always be. It can't, dude. Fuck that shit. I always went like dungeon style. When I had my own place, I would just like, it would be white walls, nothing in it. Girls make like, this is really sad in here. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, like, I'm really sick. fucking sad, dude. Yeah, my life sucks, dude. <laughs> I'm a dude. The women's march was so powerful, dude. Dude, it moved me. Yeah. I'm, that's what I'm saying. I'm all about I'm all women. I think we should go all women military. Let I them taste too. the fucking horrors of war, dude. Send all women to North Korea. Oh, that'd be actually sick. Kim Jong would be like, what? If they had like a wave of hot white <laughs> chicks come in there. Bunch of hot white chicks, dude. Some fucking hot Indian chicks. Hit him with, t- let him taste the fucking American rainbow, dude. He'd be like, "Fuck oh, yeah, good. Oh, oh wow, oh very." Dennis Rodman riding a horse, dude. He'd be fucking uh, pumped. That'd be tough to turn down. <laughs> yeah, I <I'd> fucked that. <laughs> that would totally conquer me if they, if they're like, "How are we gonna get this guy?" And they send a bunch of chicks and Dennis Rodman. I'd be like, "All right, what do you guys want? I'll stop take down the nuclear program." It's like, right, fine, I'll give them food. <laughs> yeah, yeah. God. Um, where, where are we at? We gotta end this, an hour. John, dude. We're an hour. Oh, look at that. Yeah. My clock. I felt it. My internal clock. You did actually. It's just my you feminine right, uh, instinct. You think you have a fucking strong animus? I have such a strong animus. Damn, dude. I have so much animus <laughs> and animosity. <laughs> oh, we got crushed on the main board a little bit. Me For and my what? me and my boy Dano. Well, fuck they were that, just dude. Coming They're attacking the cast. They're attacking the, me. All the fucking Protestants came out of the woodwork, dude. Whatever. Well, they also shit on our takes. Like everything we say, they're like, "You two are fucking idiots." Good. It's like, yeah, dude, we're talking. Yeah, we're fucking off. You ever try to talk for an hour and not and have people fact check the dumb shit you're saying? Could you imagine if we sat here and like, all right, now we're gonna say this. I'm gonna say that. This is gonna be the yeah. That would suck, dude. We just fucking from the hip. I've been watching. I I watched a either it was a YouTube video. It was like a YouTube video vlog type thing. I could tell the guy wrote out what he was saying by hand, and it was just like fucking unbearable. Yeah, he read it. You corny dog. Yeah, it sucks. But we just keep hating, dude. I hate, love it, dude. If I love they it. Hate, let them hate. Watch the t-shirts pile. Exactly, up. dude. Oh t-shirts my god, are piling up, dude. We fucking we We're made rich. so much money. We're rich now. We could retire. Keep buying the shirts. We need them. We could retire and move to Somalia, dude. We could live. move to Syria. We, we could go. To a we beach could go. Trip. To, that's true. We just the next live cast is going to be in Aleppo. <laughs> <laughs> Just gonna do it on two old chlorine buckets. Dude. Helium hasn't asked us back for that live cast. Yeah, that got a little too they, rowdy. He got the last two have been a little rowdy. I, I don't, new management, bro. It's a new regime. They're not feeling us. They're not feeling our swag. Nah. No, nah, I had a nice talk with one of the new managers. What the fuck's the problem? Nothing. She's well, good. All good. Better fucking be. <laughs> <laughs> nah, they're good. That club's the best. It is the best club on earth. Love it. You I was down it. there this weekend. I was down there and it was just like sold out shows. Yeah. It was just like anything you say. I know. Other than fucking Trump's tweets are great. It it works. Dude, that's pretty fucking funny that it he did that. It is funny. And that was funny that Trump did that. Yeah. Fuck that shit. That, no, that was it was actually like normally his tweets I read them and I'm like, Jesus Christ, what a moron. But that one I was like, ah, that was really funny. Yeah. And it's that funny was too. Really funny. You never know like when they're like, Oh, this is up and this is the high it's been in ten years and it's always like I love when presidents take credit for that. It's yeah, just like, yeah, yeah. yeah, dude, get the fuck like out of here. Claimed, yeah. Like the airline safety. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Did he do that? Yeah. Plane like, crashes. 2017 was one of the safest years for airlines. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> and then if it goes bad, it's like, well, I, I've been set up for failure, yeah. clearly. People are, people are getting sick of winning. Every winning? time he posts another victory. People are like, dude, shut the they fuck up. They hate him winning, sick dude. Of winning. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. He was like, he's, you're going to be so tired of winning. And oh now he's like, god. lowest unemployment for women in 18 years. People are like, shut up, asshole. Oh my god, he's that's like, so fucking Lowest uh, black. Uh, he, had, he had a bunch of good. He had a Martin Luther King tweet. Did he really? That was like, dude. Black people are killing it right now. How about the conspiracy? What's that? The fucking Pence conspiracy. Oh, the Pence conspiracy that game That got a hot comment today. What, what was the comment? Some fucking random dude was like, I'm a conservative and I still like this. I was like, <laughs> fuck yeah, dude. That was hilarious how he sent Pence out to do all his black errands. Oh, that's hilarious. He literally, the shit was hot on him, dude. And he was like, Pence, go I need to you go to church. black church and the MLK statue report back immediately. <laughs> <laughs> that must have been so weird for him to sit there and be like. <laughs> Everyone here definitely hates me. Yeah, definitely hates me. He's like, well, it'll be over soon. I'll get out of Black Church, go to the MLK thing, back to the White House. <laughs> that's so bizarre. That's so. That's the weirdest thing about politics to me. He's like, we're not racist. He's like, Pence, go to Black Church right now. And Pence is, just sitting, there. Yeah, Pence is just sitting there like, 
Hey guys, <laughs> told you <laughs> we're not racist. I'm just I brought some cameras here. Gonna I know. Photograph me I know. with you creatures. Well, that was funny how they yeah. And then the guy happened to like you know admonish Trump and be like F- uh, Trump this and that. And it's like Pence just like Pence was quiet. It's just such I think all of it's set up. I don't believe no. any of it. It's all set up to be a press thing. He's like, all right, we'll go there. We'll take a big L in the news. Everyone what are you talking hide. about? What's a big L? The fact that Pence went there and the preacher really was like, spe- was like lashing out at Donald Trump. Yeah. But then the preacher lashed out was like, well, I didn't mention his name. It's like, why the fuck wouldn't you? If you feel so yeah. passionate about it, why wouldn't you be like, Donald Trump this? He's like, well, I didn't say his name. It's like, who the fuck cares? Say it. How did Trump not pay that guy to be nice to him? Uh, How did they not do that? I'm telling you, man, you you'd have to, you have to watch fucking hypernormalization, but Trump's just going for all out, just like no one knows what's going on. Putin I did have it, to dude. watch hypernormalization. You have to watch it. Right. It's the best, dude. It's it's unbelievable. I love that this gas <laughs> where it's gone from <laughs> just from the start. Now it's just a pure fucking like you and me are just nihilist fucking like I'm not oh we were both like I'm just woke. This is all a fucking bullshit game. We're woke as fuck. Dude, this. I'm telling you, though. I I don't believe when I see it. Like, the fact that Beyonce and Jay-Z were paid to, for Hillary, it's like, if you're dumb enough to be like, oh, shit. Oh, Beyonce said that? Yeah, oh, hell yeah. yeah, yeah. And that's, majority of people are that dumb. Yeah. To be like, yeah, that's my choice. And then Trump got, who did Trump get? What? Trump probably got fucking like, he got some really shitty ones. Nugent, he got Ted Nugent. <laughs> he got some really <laughs> shitty ones. He got like a former fucking child star. I forget. <laughs> I think he got like the Karate Kid. <laughs> no way. <laughs> I think he did, dude. He got some real bad. No celebrities would go near him. He got like Mel Gibson. Gibbs came out? Tom Brady still had that fucking MAGA hat. He wrote the hat. Oh, yeah. I forgot to include that in this. I, I oh had the worst. God. I just did a... Uh, so Bennington Show on XM does this thing every year where they interview comedians and ask them for their prediction for the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. And uh, I was at the gym, and I was on the fucking ellipti, killing it, dude. It was a tough ellipti today. Yeah, what would you have the incline on? No, oh, don't worry about it. <laughs> I don't know, fucking 10, you had it on decline. 10, whatever it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, in my head, I was playing through what I was going to say. Yeah. Because I know it's like a 10-second fucking clip of just my prediction and mm-hmm. maybe something funny. Mm-hmm. If you're corny enough to try to be funny with yeah. an interview of comics like fucking like Jim Norton and all these yeah, major comics, yeah, yeah. and then I come on and I try to be funny, which is <laughs> ridiculous that I was thinking this. But I was in my in my head, I was going over what I was going to say. I'd be like, "Fucking sick!" And then he called me as soon as I got off the fucking elliptical, and he was like, "All right, so basically, you just who's going to win? What's the score? And why are they going to win?" Yeah. And he was like, "All right, we're going to record this. We'll air it. Go ahead." And I was like, first off." Let me tell you something about it was the worst fucking thing. I was like, Tom Brady is a MAGA hat wearing fucking white supremacist, and I love it. But I'm going with the Eagles. Oh, and then it, there was also dabbing down. There was dude. also a part of me. I I sucked so bad. There was a part of me in my head that I was like, my friends from home are going to hear this, and me all of a sudden being like a diehard Eagle fan. They're going to be like, you never gave a fuck about the Eagles. Who are you rooting for in the NFL? I, I didn't really care. You didn't. You were I used, above to, that. I used to love the Bucks when I was young. So you were a Bucks man. Yeah. So you you were always just like NFL. The only cares. thing I cared about was college football. Wow. Ever. So is the NFL, the NFL for white trash? Yeah, I would say that. But then again, I think you're, about the SEC. And you're a fucking elitist, dude. Where I'm from is all you're a Satanist. White trash college football fans. Really? Well, oh yeah, yeah you guys are the middle. Yeah, we're between Steelers and Eagles. We're closest to the Ravens. But anyway, sense. in this phone call, I was like, my friend's going to hear this and call me a fucking bitch. So I was like, I'm in Philadelphia. So I, like, I, I wouldn't even be like, I like the Eagles. Oh, that's so funny. So my phone call was like, I was like, Tom Brady, we all know he's a MAGA hat wearing fucking white supremacist. I love it. I'm going Eagles 27, Pats 24. That's the official. Yeah. And I was like, and because the D-line for the Eagles is going to fucking... Stick a tiki torch up that guy's butt. Oh, uh, you said <laughs> so butt? fucking bad, dude. Uh. As soon as I hung up, I was like, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> oh, oh, fuck, man. what's that? See, the, the whole thing, I was like, that's not that bad. When you hear yeah, these, the guy's butt is how it ends. He's saying butt? Or well, like, I mean, I said butt to be funny. Because it, was, it is funny to be like, we're going to get that guy's butt. That's but funny. as soon as I got done, I was like, I'm trying to be funny in an interview that's going to include really good comics. Yeah. And I'm going to come off like a fucking 
dumb shit. <laughs> so like the whole walk back from the gym, I was like, Jesus Christ, dude. Yeah. I got to call him back, dude. Gotta, fun, dude <laughs> it's going to come out. No one, and, no yeah. one ever is going to hear it. No one's ever going to hear it's it. Still but, so oh, funny. my God, That's dude. so fucking funny. It was the corniest. That's weird to think about take. people being in your head while you're talking. I've done that before where I've just been like doing something or saying something and then I'll be like, what would this person say about this? And I'm like, oh God. And then It's like, always my friend Jared. How many people are in your head at once? You're like, what would my mom say about this? It's, and dude, every single time it's my friend Jared. Yeah? What and was he going like, to get you with? Like one time we were driving on the way home from a friend's house and there was a cop pulling someone over and the kid behind me in the car yelled fucking bacon. At the cop. He's like, fucking bacon. <laughs> and the cop was <laughs> got in his car and pulled yeah, us over. Of course. And he walks up to my window and was like, it came from this side. And he was like, get out of the car. So I get out of the car and I'm standing there talking to him. And he's like, I know it came from that side. So it was you. Yeah. And I was like, it wasn't me. And he was like, well, then who was it? And in my head, I was like, you can't be a snitch, dude. You'll get made fun of forever for being a snitch. <laughs> so I looked at the cop and I was like... Well, it came from my side, and it wasn't me. <laughs> yeah, dude. And he some, was like, "Oh, okay." Do some detective <laughs> he just went work. Back and arrested that kid. He got arrested. He for got that? fucking a ticket for I forget what it was. He had to go to court. Yeah, real fucking disorderly hard-o. conduct. Maybe I forget. Maybe interrupting a fucking investigation. Shit. But yeah, he had to go to court for it. It's a good thing you but fucking. Anyway, in yeah, my head, in my head, I was like, "You can't be a snitch, dude." Jared's gonna call you a snitch forever oh, so if you snitch funny. right now. So I was like, "It wasn't me." <laughs> there was a time in high school, all my everyone was like drinking and smoking weed at this baseball field, and the cops came, and everyone could have ran away, but my car was there, and I was like, "No, don't run," because I thought I would just get in more trouble. Yeah. And no one ended up running. I convinced everyone to stay. <laughs> everyone got <laughs> underage, <laughs> and I didn't get in any trouble. <laughs> That's great, dude. You're a motherfucker for that. Well, my car fucking... I was so stoned. I was like <laughs> driving my, my Explorer around. I was high as fuck. I'm like 17 years old. And then the cops came. And How, started what did you tell everyone? Were you like, we'll get in more trouble if we run? They're <laughs> I, definitely going to just let us go. One friend had a bag of weed under his foot. And like some other kid was like doing coke. And like they, everyone was fucked up. And they could have all had plenty of time to get away. And I was like... No, stay, guys. I'll, I'll get in so much trouble if you guys leave. Oh, I, I really hate you. I really that. thought I was going to get in a lot more trouble. And then the guy smelled weed in my car. And that was when I, I think I said that before. My friend told the, he like looked at me and winked and was like, Officer, these guys were blowing weed into our car and making fun of us for not smoking weed. And I was like, Oh, we're going to jail. And the guy was like, What a bunch of dicks. And I was like, <laughs> What the fuck? But yeah, I, I remember saying you. that and a bunch of kids got arrested. And I was like, uh, My bad. When I got in that accident, I got in a car accident after we were drinking. And. The cop was like, it smells like vodka in your car. And I was like, oh, it's just mint skull. <laughs> and he was like, really? Let me see a can. And I didn't have, I was like, oh, fuck. Yeah. So I, I fished under my seat, dude. Wow. Found an old can, gave it to him, and he, he didn't open it because it was empty, thankfully. Just smelled the outside. I was like, yeah, that's probably it. Which is like, damn, dude. Fuck. That's what you get for being a slob. Yeah. You get out of crime. That's that's coming yeah, that's coming handy. You find it. That's that is one thing that's good about being a hoarder. Yeah, it's tough for them to look around your you, car too. You have supply eyes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, let's let's call it, dude. Yep. Buy some fucking tees. Buy the fucking t shirt and suck. Praise the Lord, I was born to travel. Feeling like slash in front of the chapel. I'm lean back with the less pull Shit I smoke is like cholesterol Spill dressing on the vest at the festival The best of all Had a midget Puerto Rican at my beck and call Best believe that there was neck involved Fuck around and almost wrecked the sub uh, We took acid for 10 days straight up in the mountains yeah. Started running with the stallions Playing frisbee in the West Indies Did the tango with my kidneys Eyes open now I know just what my kids need Rocking very loose pants yeah. Rocking very loose pants Buried a million in the sand by the clock tower Before I die, take a hot shower Ride the Harley into the sunset 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 By chance, I seen her in the lobby of the Ritz With a man, the one that swings the hockey stick